what I got myself into, boys. Oh boy, got a lot of work ahead of me. Goes all the way down. Oh boy. There ever was a honey hole, I found it. Look at that. They said it was all white stuff. But it's actually got a whole bunch of number one and aluminum goodies all through it. Got to sort it all out. Price went up a little bit, boys. About ten bucks. Had a ton of light shit. Seventy-one bucks, ain't bad. Kind of sad when I get excited about that. Whoops. Number one. After 
him arguing with me about the uh, number one prepared, saying that what I had wasn't before. He gave me number one prepared for all that shit. And that was really unprepared stuff. I mean, it was, uh, you know, an engine with everything, you know, different kinds of shit on it and transmission. Bunch of crap. 70 bucks. Not bad. Got a whole lot more stuff to pick up at that place. Big pile. You know what I'm doing. Ooh, baby. Let's celebrate. So that just goes to show you that you need to separate the number one. Almost the same amount for just that little bit. And I mean, I had... It was a 4.3 V6. There was a 5-speed transmission. Didn't weigh much. A couple rotors, a couple pumps, um, a couple steel plates, and then that big bumper. And uh, not too much at all, but it was as much money as a whole trailer and truckload of all that light shit. So... It is worth separating. The day is never over. crawling around in there. A couple of nice empty oil tanks. People are happy to get them out of the yard. I've been trying to get rid of them for three years. They've had them sitting there. Oh, he had some other stuff laying in the woods. Oh, yeah. Aluminum. Got, got a whole bunch of stainless steel. And a stainless steel mongoose mountain bike. It's kind of cool. Number one steel. The good stuff. Yep. Oh boy. Lots of stuff to do. Gotta fix this trailer for the guy. Not the guy I got the metal from, but another guy. A yeah. couple welds here. A couple things here. Oh, yeah. What's that off of there? I'll fix her up. Oh, boy. Scrap everywhere. Sold. First I sold the hubcaps for what I paid for the whole thing. Then I sold the whole thing. The guy's sending a truck to come get it. Money's already in the bank.
been a pretty good day. Got a nice working AC. Got some uh, stainless steel. We got some aluminum. We got, oh, look at that. Tasty little bucket of copper there. Ooh. Isn't that nice? Aluminum. Never got so much aluminum. A lot of aluminum up here. Oh, what's this? No, nah, that's not a, that's not a junk. Well, it is junk, but no, nah, I had to do a little work to that for the guy. This guy pulls that trailer I was welding with this. Pulls all kinds of shit with it. 2011. Well, I was uh, checking out this uh, vintage mongoose mountain bike. I've never seen a mongoose mountain bike before. And uh seemed a little interesting. So I uh, went on the old computer and uh, typed it in. Turns out, oh yeah. That's worth some cash. This guy's got one on there. I mean, it's uh, a lot nicer condition than this one. Right, you know, ready to ride. But he wants, uh, he's asking $700. Another one is uh, four something. Only found a couple of them on there. Could be a, could be a nice little score. I'm sure somebody out there knows about bicycles. They're going to tell me all about it, I hope. Tires are junk, obviously. Chains rusted. It's off. It's all there. Nice little aluminum rack. Looks like this uh, could be going on the old eBay. And then, uh, also got these old guys here. on their vintage bicycles I can't believe the money that they're going for these are uh, heavily patinaed I don't know is there a market for the for the patina bikes like the like the cars I don't know they don't really weigh much it's not gonna get me much in scrap somebody might fall in love like they did with the scout finally Well, that's it for today. There's nothing wrong with the sound. Turn it up. Oh. Cheers. And uh, tomorrow's another day of uh, beautiful scrap metal and uh, beautiful life. Don't forget to uh, rate, comment, subscribe, you know. You never know what you might see, what you might like to watch. And, uh, yeah, that's about it. Till next time. I'll be out there on the streets.